Morning by morning, new mercies I see. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. We can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, Lord, for I have put my trust in you. Show the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light for my path. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. God, you said, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Because of the Lord's great love, we are consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. The Sovereign Lord has given me a well-instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. The name of the Lord is fortified, and it is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it, and they are safe. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. If any one of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, on account of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, which is your reasonable service to worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what is good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. Do you not know that yourselves are God's temple? and that God's spirit dwells in you. If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let me give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for me, for he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Thanks be to God. He gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. 
We who dwell in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will always trust. Thank you, Jesus. He is the beginning and the end. He's the keeper of creation and the creator of all. He's the architect of the universe and the manager of all times. He always was, always is, always will be. Unmoved, unchanged, undefeated, and never undone. He is the first and the last. He's the beginning and the end. Thank you, Jesus. We who dwell in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress, our God, in whom we will always trust. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, when I lie down, I will not be afraid. When I lie down, my sleep will be sweet. Hallelujah. But my delight is in the Lord, in the law of the Lord, and in his law I meditate day and night. The Lord will commend his loving kindness in the daytime, and his song will be with me in the night. A prayer to the God of my life. Jesus loves us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about me that I can fear no man, because my God delivereth me. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do not lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Do depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. And the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as to be a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. 